Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom earring for your VRChat avatar. We're not going to be using Blender to make anything from scratch. It's going to be mostly done in Unity. However, we still are going to need Blender, but it's very simple. So what I would suggest is finding a collar, something like this, and any collar will work that has these extra pieces like you, like you can see right here. And for that, you can use a website called Sketchfab. There's a lot of free assets that you can find there. Just find a model that you like and download that one. Now, color that I'm using here is not free. It's actually from the Otter base, so I won't be able to share this one. And once we have it in Unity, we're going to grab its FBX by selecting it, then go on Body, close down Blend Shapes, press on the Mesh, you're going to right click it, show an explorer, and then paste on your desktop. So once we're in Blender, we're going to press A, right click, delete, go file, import, FBX, desktop, and you're going to select your collar. And usually here what I would do is I would delete everything besides the rings that I'm going to be using for my earring. We're going to select our collar, go edit mode, and then just hover over the stuff you want to delete and press L. Right click and delete vertices. And then you should be just left with the final piece like this. You want to go file, export, FBX, and then fine, and then just export it. Once you have it imported, just drag it in your scene. And here, as you can see, is that piece that we just exported. You can enlarge it by using this tool here. And if you want to change its rotation, um, some of them are not going to have bones, but if it has bones that you're able to just move them around and position them how you want. So once you have the earring that you exported attached to your ear, Let's say that you want a asset attached to that earring. So if your earring actually has bones, then you're going to go basically extend its armature and go to the very last tip bone that it has. And that is where you would like to attach your asset. How you would attach it is very easy. You're just going to drag the thing you want to attach into your scene. And then you're going to uh, attach that asset to the very last bone of your earring. If it doesn't have a bones, then you can just attach it to the actual earring. And then again, by using this tool right here, uh, position the thing and scale it down so that it actually kind of connects basically with your earring. And then from there, you should be ready to go. If your earring has bones and you just attach an asset to the very last bone, you want to go to the actual bones of your earring and then in ignore transforms, you want to put one and then you're going to drag that asset in the element zero. And if your earring doesn't have bones in it and you would want it to have bones, I have made a video on how do you actually add bones into assets. So go check that out. And then to actually attach the earring, you just want to extend the root of your avatar and go find the ear. It can be either the left or the right ear. And then once you found it, you don't want to go at the base, but rather ear one or ear two. And then you're just going to take your earring and then drag it on that ear two. One final thing, go and find the bones of your ears. And on the right side here, you want to ignore transforms and then just click one. And then you want to drag the earring into that element. And then you should be good to go. Hope that this tutorial helped you out. Let me know in the comments if you have some questions. And also if you have some video recommendations, do let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around. Peace.